Hi, and welcome to Cooking with BFIT. 25% of Americans skip breakfast at least one to two times a week. It's the most important meal of the day. So today we're going to do two really fun recipes. One is an easy, healthy egg bake, and the other one is sweet potato hash browns. And these are great if you want to prep them ahead of time so they have something to grab on your way out the door. All right, so we're gonna use a pound of fresh turkey breakfast sausage. You could use any sausage in this recipe that you would like. If you are using a different sausage um, that it has a higher fat content, be sure to drain off that fat before you um, put it into the casserole because otherwise you could have grease at the top of your casserole. Um, you could also use chicken or hamburger meat, like if you have some leftovers from the night before, um, this is a great casserole to use it in. You could use those leftovers up. So we also have about a cup and a half of sweet diced onions. I have about eight ounces of sliced mushrooms that I have really roughly chopped here. And then I have some green bell peppers, some Roma tomatoes that I have de-seeded and diced, some green onion that we have roughly chopped, as well as two cups of roughly chopped fresh spinach. I'm gonna use about two cups of this wonderful uh, sweet potato hash that I have um, grated and what I've done with this is after I grated it I uh, soaked it in some water and then rinsed it out until the water ran clear just to get that extra starch off of it. I'm also using some about two cups of shredded cheese. You could use a reduced fat cheese if you wanted to or um, I'm using today I'm using Swiss and a Colby uh, Jack mixture here um, just to give it a good flavor you could use any cheese that you want it whether you use goat cheese or mozzarella anything that you want and then we're going to need about 12 eggs so just a dozen of eggs that we have cracked here into this bowl and then a cup and a three-fourths of a cup of non-fat milk or half and half I'm using half and half all right so we have a medium pan that I have on medium heat and that's kind of heating up. I'm gonna add some olive oil in here just a little bit because that turkey does not have a lot of fat. Um, we want just to be able to cook it in this. So we're just gonna throw that in there into our hot pan. And then as you're cooking this, you just wanna kind of break it up as much as you can while you're cooking it. And we're also gonna go ahead and throw in our onions. And just let those cook for a minute. All right, so once that has started to brown a little bit and our onions have started to soften, we're just gonna add in our mushrooms. Give those a quick little stir. And then we're gonna add in our spinach and let that wilt a little bit. All right, once you get everything incorporated, you're gonna have a lot of liquid from the mushrooms and the spinach and everything. So what you're gonna wanna do is just strain that off before you add it into the casserole. So I've mixed my eggs with my other my seasonings and everything. I've got my cheese. I've got my vegetable and meat mixture. I've got my fresh vegetables and I've got my sweet potato. So what I'm gonna do is just take my sweet potato and I've lightly, I've sprayed this pan um, with some kitchen spray. I'm going to kind of layer this. So we're gonna take this bell pepper tomato mixture and kind of just mix it up. Mix this whole thing up, a little bit more sweet potato, and then do our meat. Okay, and then we're going to layer some cheese on it, and we're just going to keep layering this till we're out of ingredients, and then we'll add the eggs on top. All right, so we have it nice and layered now, and I reserved about half of my cheese to mix it into my eggs, and so now we're just going to pour this over the top of our mixture and then we're going to throw it into a uh, 375 degree oven for about an hour or until the eggs are set in the middle. All right. For our sweet potato hash browns we have two medium uh, sweet potatoes that we have shredded and rinsed and then squeezed all the water out of that we could get. I've added some pepper in here. We're going to add in about four garlic cloves finely minced. We're going to a finely chopped sweet onion, about a fourth of a cup there. And then we're going to add in a fourth of a cup of flour. We're going to give this a stir. And then 
we're going to add in one egg beat. And we're just going to mix that all together. Alright, so you want to measure out your hash browns into a fourth cup. And what I like to do is measure that fourth cup and press it down in there and then just drop it into another pan. This is great for many reasons. One, it's great portion control. Two, if you want to make these ahead of time and then like freeze them or keep them in the refrigerator, you could totally do that. What you would want to do is if you freeze them, do it like this, leave them on a pan, put them in the freezer for about an hour or two until they're kind of solid, and then you want to put them into either wrap them in a plastic wrap or put them into a Ziploc bag so that you can use them later. Because before you cook them, you're going to want to defrost them fully. All right. I've got some oil in my medium pan, and we've got it hot. I just tested it by using a little bit of the shreds of the hash browns. And then we're just going to take our hash browns up, kind of sit it down in there. And we'll give it a second just in the pan like this, and then we'll take our spatula and kind of spread them out. All right. Once they've been in there just a few seconds, you can go ahead and press them down. I'm actually using a fish spatula, but this seems to work great with hash browns. It's real flexible. So just make sure whatever uh, spatula that you are using is a very flexible spatula so that you can get up underneath it. So we're just going to spread those out. We're going to give them about two to three minutes on each side until they're golden. there you have it. Really easy uh, recipes that you can do. Prep ahead of time, have them ready to go on Sunday morning. With the egg bake, just throw it in some muffin pans and then you're able to have individual portions. Or if you cook it like this, cut it into individual portions, let it cool down, wrap it in cellophane and stick it in the fridge. It's great. Just remember to wrap it in uh, paper towels when you put it into the microwave to heat it up because it will release some water. Our special taster today is Angel Child. She's a social worker here at Birmingham AIDS Outreach. Hi, y'all. Um, my name is Angel. I'm one of the social workers here at BAO. Today, I'm going to be your special guest, and I'm going to be tasting some food today. I'm so excited. Bye.